Oh, well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber, if you're new around here, then hi, my name's Paul. Uh, I'm English. I live in Paris. And uh, I'm an ex-Apple employee that's become a stand-up comedian. But because I can't be on stage, I've decided to just be on YouTube. And uh, today is my very first unboxing experience with a with a with an Apple product live on this channel. I don't know why I've not done it before. Um, I feel like I've been missing out a trick on YouTube being an ex-Apple employee and watching so many people do Apple product reviews and I'm obsessed with them. So I'm gonna do one myself. Uh, today uh, I'm unboxing the iPhone 12 mini which I've bought for myself as an upgrade or downgrade to the iPhone 11 Pro. I don't know if it's an upgrade or downgrade uh, let me know in the comments below what you think and I think I might do another video about is it actually a downgrade going from a pro to a mini. Now, first things first, uh, I live in France and so the phone I have is a French phone. When I watch my favourite tech YouTubers, uh, whether it's Marquez Brownlee, Sarah Dietschy, Lou from uh, Unbox Therapy, Peter McKinnon, Matty Hapoya and all of the other tech camera YouTubers that I follow, they're all based in North America. So they've all been unboxing the American or North American version of the iPhone, the French iPhone boxing is different than all of the other boxes. And as an ex Apple employee, I'm I'm a little bit like I want to vomit. I want because it's not. Let's see what I'm talking about. Where are my keys? I don't have a knife. I'm not like I don't have. I'm not an expert. I'm not like a Canadian YouTuber that has a pocket knife made by some crazy knife person to open up all of the boxes that I don't, this is like the first box that I've ever opened uh, in this studio. So <laughs> I don't own a knife. Let me go get my keys. The, small, the smallest key ever. Right, here we go. This is why uh, I wanted to vomit earlier on because this, I mean, this is not, this is not Apple packaging for me. It's just, it's not, it just doesn't, it doesn't match up to the, to the standard that I was used to when I worked at Apple and the standard now. The only way you know it's an Apple package really is this little thing under here. Uh, this little green tab that they have to make it easier for you to just slide it open. Now you're wondering, hold on, why my iPhone didn't come in a box like this? Because you don't live in France. The reason why we have boxes like this in France, you may have seen the articles, is that because of a French law against radiation, or something like that. You're uh, legally obliged to ship a phone with a hands-free kit, meaning headphones. So the French version of the new iPhones, contrary to the rest of the world, come with headphones because of a radiation law. Now, French people still smoke like it's 1973, which has been proven to give you lung cancer, yet the radiation from your phone still really isn't a confirmed thing. This is an ugly box. There's no design on it inside the box as you open it, is the box that everyone is used to. So the actual iPhone good looking box, that's that's a box. Now that's, that, that, that's a good design box. But <laughs> here, we've got this little compartment where you kind of pull out, I mean, I'm not even gonna use these, this is the thing. And so I kind of agree with Apple in terms of not pro uh, providing headphones or charging bricks anymore. Because every time you buy an iPhone, you used to get these and you used to get the charger with it. And the amount of iPhones that I've bought, so obviously I have a ton of these lying around, but I'm never going to use these. So if you want a pair of headphones, lightning headphones, let me know in the comments. I'll pick somebody random and I'll send them to you because I'm not going to use them. iPhone mini in my hands. It's a black one. So let's go. Let's open this up. Oh, hold on. Something else has changed in here. Look at that. I spent nine years working at Apple and I did uh, spend quite a few times over in Cupertino in the headquarters and I got a chance one time to meet the team that make the packages and we sat down and talked to them. They gave a really super passionate, impressive talk about um, this, about the time it takes for you to open a new product. I think the term they used was negative draw. It was so many years ago, I can't remember. But negative draw, I tried to Google it, I couldn't find the term. This is probably some sort of Apple secrets I'm not supposed to share with you. However, I don't care. This, the, the time that it takes when you open the phone for it for the box to drop. For it, they, they, it's a science, basically. They spend hours, and they told us about this, they spent hours and hours researching, figuring out how much air 
that they needed to fill it, the sides of the boxes, the, the, how big the gap was to make sure that as you open your product, it is just the right amount of time of suspense that's created for you to open the product. That's how obsessive Apple are about details. However, this one, I feel like it's a little bit quick. It's probably because the box is so small, uh, because before the boxes were huge. It feels like there's more, there's less air holding the box together. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's cute. I like it. That's cool. Okay, now. It's not as small as I thought it would be. Countries and regions, France. Because I get my headphones for free. I got the black one. I got the black phone. But it's kind of dark blue on the side. I don't know if you can really see this. It's blue. It's not fucking black. It's blue on the side. Hold on. It's basically the same colour, darker than the, than, the, than the front of the box here. There we go. Look at that. That is clearly not black. It's like a blue, it's like a purpley blue colour. Or is it just the light? Yeah, it's definitely not black. But I, can't, I like it. But I thought it would be more black, if I'm honest. Now, while that's setting up, part of the other reason uh, people were going crazy is uh, that there's no charging brick. None of the headphones. We talked about that. And it does come with the charging cable. Now, the reason Apple gave was that it was more ecological. The boxes are smaller. It means that in the millions of phones that they're going to sell and ship, it'll take up about half the space that it does uh, than it used to on previous phones. And so they're saving a bit of the environment uh, for the <laughs> uh, in Europe and the rest of the world compared to North America. Our boxes have always been huge. And the reason is the charger. If you owned an iPhone like more than five years ago, you would get a charging brick, literally a brick in the packet with you. If you're from North America, this brick would look like this. And then you would have your little bit here, which you would stick out pop it in and pow, you're off. However, imagine this, but for the UK. So in the UK, we would have in our iPhone box, basically that. That's what they would have to fit inside the box. In Europe, it was a little bit more manageable, but the boxes were still big because we didn't have the cool flippy uppy American bit. This this thing here, which is, uh, which is always my favorite bit. I was jealous. However, when you try and plug that into a wall in America, it just sort of plugs in and then just goes and just falls out most of the time, which I, <laughs> I never really got. So the boxes in Europe were bigger because of this. And even when they moved towards the single charging thing in the US, you had this tiny little power brick. Look at it. It's just tiny little thing that you would plug in. Again, the boxes were bigger in the UK and in Europe because our single charger just had the USB here. That goes into the wall. It's still massive. And in Europe, we had this two-pronged USB charger as well. Now, the reason I don't understand this cable that comes with the new iPhones is that it is a uh, lightning to USB-C cable. Now, the problem with USB-C is unless you bought the last version of the iPhone, specifically the iPhone 11 Pro, uh, you have to have an iPhone 11 Pro to have the Apple USB-C charger. So that's a pain in the ass. It's like, well, if you're going to include a cable, include the standard USB-A type that everyone has. I don't even use the USB-C charger for my 11 Pro. It's fast charging, yes, but I don't need it because I charge my phone every night anyway. I'm actually using the USB charger from this phone to charge this camera's battery. Uh, so it's constantly plugged in because it is also like a fast charging brick. It's all complicated. You, Somebody needs to make a video about the different types of USB chargers, USB-C chargers, USB-A, USB-A 3.2, 3.1.2, point whatever. The, 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 the consensus is ship a USB type A with the lightning because this is useless. You might as well just take that out to save even more space. Imagine the box with just the iPhone. Imagine that. Imagine how thin it would be at that point. No headphones, no cable. Because if you did own an old iPhone, yes, you will have the old charger, but you will also have the old cable that you can just plug into your phone anyway. I don't get it. I also still don't get why France is shipping headphones. I find it hilarious that the French, <laughs> out of everyone, have managed to impose a rule 
on Apple to be like, yo, you need to change your box. The poor team in California that work on all this negative draw uh, to make sure that the box opens correctly and is the right amount of time and space and stuff. And then they have to go and create this monstrosity of a case. I imagine they're all sitting in Cupertino at the Apple Park or One Infinite Loop just going, bleh, bleh, fucking French people. Bleh, bleh. <laughs> So that's about it for this unboxing. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'm gonna probably use this for a week now before I either send it back or I keep it, depending on the size, because I don't know if this is a true a true downgrade or an upgrade, really. I have a feeling that functionality is gonna be downgraded, but usability is gonna be upgraded. Did that make sense? I don't know, I don't care. Basically, the main difference between this and this in terms of downgrade is that there's, no, there's not three cameras on it. Also, the battery life uh, is going to be smaller because it's a smaller phone. So they're the two main things that I'm interested in is, um, do I actually use uh, the telephoto lens on this that much? And two, uh, will it last me enough time to work uh, a full day on? That's it. That's all I've got for you for this one. Let me know if you enjoyed this first ever unboxing of a technology product on, <laughs> on my channel. And if you did, uh, then that's great. I might do some more. Considering I can't get on stage and do comedy for a while, I might as well just open technology products, buy them, open them, give my review that means nothing to anyone, and then send them back. Or get some free stuff and open it and make a review and then send it back. Who knows? I might become a tech YouTuber uh, <laughs> in 2021. That's what's happening. All right, I'm done. I'm finished. I'll be reading your comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bizu bye. But it's kind of dark blue on the side. I don't know if you can really see this on the on the camera there. Let me close my eyes because of the face tracking. Oh, it's really difficult to see. I want you to see it though. It's blue. It's not fucking black. It's blue on the side. Hold on.